Now I know what you're all thinking. A turf talk about photosynthesis? Well, this isn't a talk about you need to cut down the tree to let the morning light in. This isn't a talk about um, using photosynthesis to be a better grass grower. You're all excellent grass growers. This talk is about what does photosynthesis do because you're great grass growers. So let me lay on you one of my much overused work idioms. Let's take this up to 30,000 feet. Hang on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a rather rapid ascent. Okay, so photosynthesis. We know it's carbon dioxide plus water in sunlight yields sugar, carbon energy, carbohydrates, and oxygen, right? So we're all carbon-based life forms. So all that carbon biomass really started, became terrestrial, out of the atmosphere, onto the earth, via this magical process of photosynthesis, that CO2 turning into earthly energy. And speaking of the earth, let's bring it back down to earth, actually below earth, because what I really want to talk about is that carbon from photosynthesis. It's easy to think about how that glucose ultimately can become biomass. Um, and, and you've seen the pictures, you're all familiar with thatch accumulation, that sort of biomass. Um, but that's not the only way that, that organic matter can accumulate from photosynthesis. In fact, it's not even the preferred, the most valuable organic matter that can accumulate and will accumulate from good photosynthesis in the presence of good active root zone biology is mineral associated organic matter. That's the real valuable stuff. And that happens from this magical process of photosynthesis in the presence of an active biology. Um, and if you haven't had enough yet of work idioms, there's a lot more to unpack here. So tune in for more videos.